Does Canva has a chroma key feature? Well, the answer is kinda. Technically, it doesn't have a chroma key feature, but there are some built-in features in Canva, especially AI features that can be used as a chroma key, at least has some elements of chroma key, which allows you to replace background, sorry, uh, change the green screen into a background that you want. Uh, and that's something that you can do with Canva. So for example, I have these two images and I think you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove the green screen part, basically the green part of Canva, uh, sorry, of the picture using built-in Canva tools. Now I will start with this picture of a woman and you can see that this woman is wearing green and the background is also green, which is kind of difficult if you are doing it in a traditional way. But fortunately, Canva has an AI feature that can differentiate the object and the background. So let's click on the image, click edit. And on the Magic Studio, you want to select a background remover. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Very quick. And this tool is going to help you remove background uh, color or sometimes background images that you don't want to have. You just want to retain the actual object of the picture. It is very useful, it's very fast, and it's also smart enough to tell that this woman, even though wearing green, uh, this object can be separated from the background. So that is one element of the background remover. But this feature is uh, something that cannot be applied to this image. Uh, you cannot use background remover because if you do that, it will remove the background, but will keep the phone. But in reality, we just want to get this area of the smartphone to be removed. We want to uh, be able to replace it with a different image, maybe a phone screenshot or a phone app. Uh, you could basically uh, use that. But unfortunately, the background removal feature in Canva does not work like, like that. So if I click background uh, remover, it will remove the background, but will keep the phone, which is not what we want. So unfortunately, there is no alternative for that. There, you cannot use magic eraser, by the way, if you are trying to erase this green screen area, sorry, the green area, it will try to replace it with a different object. So it's not going to be empty. It's going to be replaced, not empty. So just keep that in mind. Instead, if you are want to use a mockup or uh, something similar to that, you can go to the element section and you can search for mockup. And uh, let's scroll down and you'll see on the graphic section and also there is an option for frames and mockups but there are uh, many options right here so let's say let's start with mockups and uh, you can see here that there are many options i guess i'll have to be specific with mockup phone and yeah as you can see here there are many options i'm going to stick with frames because that's actually the official weight if you want to put some screenshot or pictures into a frame. Okay, uh, I guess I want to stick with this. I want to use this picture and let's find some random screenshot. I don't know what to search, but this is just some photo that we want to use. Uh, again, this is just example. This is not the best way to show that. Uh, let's try this picture and you can drag it right here. So the picture now can be placed on this smartphone mockup. So yeah, that's basically the chroma key feature in Canva. We don't have that, but there is something similar. There are some other alternatives that you can try. And you can see which one is actually the best option for your case. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful and I'll see you later.